The following video is a demonstration of how a weakness in the Zoom application can be leveraged by a threat actor to turn it into an info stealer and evade prevention and detection by traditional AV and EDR tools. First, you'll see the victim, in this case it is Michael, is sending an invite to the pen tester. We'll call her Sally for this demonstration for a Zoom session. Note that both the threat actor and the victim are using the most up-to-date version of Zoom with all the security features installed. They're also running antivirus with all the security features turned on. You'll see here that the Zoom application is running normally on both machines. To show that this is a real live Zoom session, Michael will first send a message to Sally saying hello. And you can see that she receives that message in real time. Sally can, in turn, send a message back that Michael will receive in real time. First, to show what a Zoom session is supposed to look like when it's being recorded, Michael will begin a recording of this session. You can see here that all participants are noted that the session is being recorded. There is indication on both machines that the session is being recorded. Now, we'll also show that Michael has turned off recording for other participants. You can see Sally has tried to record, but those privileges are not granted to her, so she cannot by normal means. She's going to ask Michael if she can record, and Michael will say no, because he's going to share sensitive information, and he wants to be sure that none of this is recorded or saved by any of the people on the line. Now he's going to share that sensitive information. In this case, it's not really sensitive information, but we did want to show something interesting, which is attack trends that we have seen across our customer base. You can see that uptick in yellow is phishing attacks that have risen dramatically since the work from home mandates. Now we'll see Sally is going to use her malicious code to allow her to record the session, despite the fact that she does not have privileges according to the Zoom application. And what makes this particularly scary is that Michael has no indication that this session is being recorded. Typically, there would be an indication at the top, as well as an indication here to say that the session is being recorded. Sally will now send a chat to Michael, which he thinks will not be recorded and will later show that it in fact was. Now the pen tester will end the session and we can see that the malware manipulated Zoom to output the recording in a controlled folder and triggered Zoom to decrypt the session without user notification. Here, that chat that Michael thought was not recorded clearly was saved for the pen tester's use. Additionally, an output video of all that was shared during the presentation from screen sharing as well as video from webcams if that was on are saved for her use. This effectively shows how Zoom can be leveraged as an info stealer and evade detection by traditional tools because it's a trusted application. Let's run through this process again. Everything will be exactly the same as before, except this time the Morphosec Moving Target Defense product is installed on the endpoints. This product will harden and immunize the Zoom application so that it is protected against attacks like this that leverage its application memory resources. When the application is being used as intended, it runs without a hitch. We've shown here in the system tray the Morphosec icon that shows that the agent is installed and running. This can be hidden from the end user if desired. Within the Zoom session, we'll share a chat 
to show that this is a live session and that the product is working in real time. Now, once again, we'll try to use that malicious code to record the session. Unlike last time, the application does not show that the session is being recorded, and we have indication that malicious activity was prevented by Morphosec. The attack was successfully prevented without the use of signatures, machine learning, behavioral detection, or any form of prior knowledge. Now, in the Morphosec console, which the analysts will use to investigate the events that took place, we can see the attack. We have an attack trajectory that shows the user, the machine, and the process tree from which the attack was launched, as well as various forensic data, such as the process file path, command line, hash, and even the fact that the process was signed by Zoom. This concludes our demonstration of how Zoom can be leveraged as an info stealer via a weakness in the application. For more information on how Morphosec can prevent you from these types of attacks, as well as other exploits on other collaboration applications like Teams, WebEx, and GoToMeeting, please visit morphosec.com. Thank you.